Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le gouvernement aime répéter qu'il a un plan pour réduire les émissions de GRS, mais le dernier rapport d'Environnement Canada indique plutôt que nos émissions ont augmenté en 2013. Pas diminué, Monsieur le Président, augmenté. Peut-être que les conservateurs s'en félicitent, mais pas les Canadiens et pas nos partenaires internationaux. Est-ce que le gouvernement va agir afin de respecter nos engagements avec les autres pays? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our Conservative government is the first government in Canadian history that reduced greenhouse gas emissions and will continue to do so without introducing the NDP carbon tax. We'll continue to implement a responsible sector-by-sector -sector regulatory approach that is aligned with the United States that protects Canada's economic competitiveness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I move? The Honourable Member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, falling further and further behind is not showing leadership. Here, here, the environment here. Canada clearly shows that our emissions are growing, thanks to this government's refusal to take climate change seriously and breaking its own promise to regulate the oil and gas sector. Any hope that this government could meet its targets? Well, they're fading, Mr. Speaker. So why is this government ignoring our international commitments and putting our health, environment and economy at risk because of climate change? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our record is very clear. We have reduced emissions while growing the economy and creating well, great, uh, good, well-paying jobs. We'll continue to implement a responsible sector-by-sector -sector regulatory approach that is aligned with the United States to ensure that Canada's economic competitiveness is protected. Our government is also the first uh, government in Canadian history that has seen reductions in greenhouse gas emissions on a net basis and will continue to do so without the job-killing carbon tax.